welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. Last week I gave away for free three recycled paper textures as tileable JPEGs for print and for web and pattern files of those textures for print and for web. So today I'm going to show you how I made the print version of the Photoshop seamless texture pattern. So I the first thing I did was scan in the texture that I wanted to use which is this cream texture. So I'm just going to open the JPEG of the scan up in Photoshop and you'll see I've got my scan bed shown in right here. And this was scanned in at 300 dpi but when I scanned it in it scanned in as RGB and I need a CMYK. So you can see right here I've got 300 so I've got the right resolution and I just need to change my color mode by going image mode CMYK. Hit OK and now I'm ready for print since a lot of my stuff is in print. And I need to crop this now because when I created all my textures I was using 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels so I want to start by cropping the scan down to 1024 by 1024. So I'm going to grab my crop tool and you'll see up here I've already defined that size and I've got my square crop so I'm just going to scale it down until I find a good portion of the scan. I like this uh, speckling to be pretty random so this is a pretty good area of the scan and I'm just gonna hit enter when I'm happy with it and now if I just created a pattern off of the scan without making sure that it's seamless this is, I'll show you what happens so I'm just gonna create a pattern by going edit define pattern and I'll call this cream one hit OK and I'm just gonna create a new document so we can play around with it and see how it works so I'm going to make this 5x5 five five just to make it easy and it's CMYK because we're working in CMYK for print. And if I double click on this background layer it makes it a live layer that I can manipulate however I want. Double click again to define my layer style and if I go down here to pattern overlay here's the pattern that we just brought in. And immediately you can see I've got this edge uh, that was probably near, near the edge of my scanner when it scanned. So that's no good. We cannot use this and there's a really really easy way to fix this so I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to come back over to my scan file and you'll see up here in your menu go filter, other, offset and this tool lets you take whatever's on your artboard and shift it horizontally or vertically and you can decide how much or how little. So if I play around with this I'm getting the shadow to appear for me so this is where I can fix it. So I'm just going to hit OK. You can also do it vertically if you have any edges vertically, but it looks like I only have a horizontal edge that I need to fix. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to double click on this background layer so I can adjust it. And I'm going to grab my rubber stamp tool by hitting S on my keyboard. And I'm just going to find a good area. I don't want it to, like if I grab from this area and I repeated it right here, it's going to be pretty obvious that this is a copy. So I want to find a good source area which I'm just going to grab this area right here. I'm going to hold Alt and click so I can define that wherever I start painting, this is where it originates from. So I'm just going to start painting with my, my stamp tool, or rubber stamping, I guess. And then you can define multiple sources whenever you want. So I'm just going to grab from over here this time, paint a little, grab from over here, And as you can see, now everything, see how I've got these two specks? I don't want that, so get rid of that. And then I kind of just look over the pattern and make sure I don't have any specks that are super dark compared to all of my other ones. I don't want it to scream or anything. This is going to be used as a texture in the background, and that looks pretty good. So just to do the offset test again, we'll go filter, other, offset, move it around a little bit a few times, and that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to hit OK, and now let's define that pattern again by going Edit, Define Pattern, and this time we'll call it Cream 2. OK, go back into our test file, double click for the layer style, Pattern Overlay, and this time we're going to pick this one. And look how nice that looks. And you can change the scale, everything looks really good. So it's literally that easy piece of cake. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you subscribe. I post new tutorials almost every week, and thanks for watching.